So this next video, we're going to talk about treating and testing thresholds. And that's how you determine um, when you want to treat someone versus when you want to test someone. And that's going to still also fall within our testing hypothesis area in our framework that we have here. As we talked about before, there's no such thing as certainty in medicine, right? You can never be 100% sure that someone doesn't have a diagnosis, and you can never be 100% sure that someone does have a diagnosis. Um, we also said that it's mathematically imprecise, and so, you know, we came up with these categories here. Uh, so while we can't be sure, we can be sure enough. Uh, we can d divide the probability space into three zones here. And they, these are the three zones that I called treat it, test it, and trash it. So in the trash it zone, uh, below this level, we are going to reject the diagnosis. We're going to say the patient doesn't have it. Above the treatment threshold, we're going to say that the, we're going to accept the diagnosis and we're going to treat it. And then in the middle, we're going to test it. And so we have these three zones here. We reject it, we don't know, we need more information, and we accept the diagnosis. And so when we look here again, let's go back to our weather example, all right? And so let's say the diagnosis is it's going to rain, and the treatment would be uh, we need to bring an umbrella, because if it's going to rain, you need to have an umbrella. And so if the, if the uh, meteorologist says that the probability of rain is 40%, do you bring your umbrella or not? Because we don't know. Is it is it going to rain or not going to rain? We don't have a yes or no answer to that. We say, well, we're 40% sure that it's going to rain. And so we set thresholds here, treatment and testing thresholds. Now, in this case, our treatment is going to be, we're going to bring our umbrella, right? If we think the diagnosis is of rainy day is going to happen, we bring the umbrella so we don't get wet. If, it's, if we're unsure in the tested zone, we need to get some more information to know what to do. So we don't know whether we need to, to bring the umbrella or not, or whether we can leave it home. We need to get more information. And finally, in the trash it zone, we're going to leave the umbrella at home because we feel pretty sure that they don't have it. And so what we've done here is set these thresholds. So here it says, if, if I'm more than 80% sure that it's going to rain, I'm just going to bring the umbrella. And if I'm less than 30% sure of rain, I'm going to leave the umbrella at home, right? So we don't know for sure that it's not going to rain. We said, if I'm 30% sure of rain or less, I'll leave it at home. So these are the thresholds beyond which we act. Now, in this middle zone here, 30 to 80%, we don't know. We need to get some more information. And when we get some more information, our goal is to either push that 40% up high, higher into this treated zone, so above 80%, or to push it down lower into the trash it zone where we leave the umbrella at home. And so we need to collect more information to do that. So maybe we do collect some more data, and our data is that the meteorologist always overcalls rain. They're never right. Whenever they say it's going to rain, it never does. And so you say, well, that additional information pushes it down below 10%. And so I'm going to leave my umbrella at home. Or perhaps it's rained every day this week. And even though there's only a 40% chance of rain today, you think, you know what, I'm bringing the umbrella because it has rained every day this week, so I think the probability is actually much higher. Let's look at a, a, our headache example now and decide what we need to do here. So let's say we have a headache. It's about the same thing. Now, you'll notice here that we've changed the thresholds a little bit lower, okay? And we'll talk about that in another video. But the diagnosis is bleeding in the, on the brain, and the treatment is they need to have surgery, okay? And so if the patient does have uh, a CAT scan that shows that they're bleeding in the brain, then we say, ah, we have more information. That pushed me up, pushed the probability up of having an intracranial bleed. And pretty high because we can see it on a CAT scan. So we are now in the treated zone. Patient needs to get surgery. Or perhaps they get a CAT scan that is normal. You see no blood there. And so that pushed the probability of intracranial bleed down into your trash it zone. And so you're not going to treat it. You're going to not have surgery. You've made the decision that they don't have the diagnosis of intracranial bleed. So you can see how getting more information can allow us to take something that is in this tested zone, this zone of uncertainty, and move it up or move it down. So in summary, we have uncertainty in medicine. Right? We have uncertainty and probabilities. We can never say with any degree of certainty that someone does or doesn't have a diagnosis. Instead, we have probabilities uh, of, likely, of likeliness. 
And so since we don't have certainty, we have to set thresholds beyond which we will act. So there is a treatment threshold beyond which we're going to accept the diagnosis and start treatment. There is the testing threshold. When it's below this threshold, we're going to reject the diagnosis. Anything that's in between these, we're unsure and we need to collect more data. We cannot say that they don't have the diagnosis and trash it or that they do have the diagnosis and treat it. So we need to collect more information. And so we need to collect evidence until we can push that diagnosis up above the treatment threshold or below the testing threshold. And any evidence that's in support of a diagnosis moves its probability upward. Any evidence that falls against the diagnosis moves its probability downward. Okay, thank you for watching.